Hot Seagulls, Ryan Smoyer celebrating his 17th birthday tonight. Final seconds of the third quarter. Jacob Fakosh at the horn. Eagles up three. Fourth quarter we go. Smoyer answers top of the key three. That's good. We are tied. How about Cody Downs? Shortest guy in the court among the trees and one. Knights up five. Eagles don't die. Jacob Schmelz for three. Eastwood cuts it to two with 12 seconds left. Smoyer, two huge free throws. That puts him up four. Less than 10 seconds left. Eagles down four. No! The rebound, Smoyer, and he's fouled. He would make two more free throws for 17 points on his 17th birthday. Atsigo wins it 66-60, knocking Eastwood back into a first place tie with Lake. Well, my mom teaches for him, so it's even an added incentive to beat him, and then they knew it was my birthday. She told him during the day, so it's fun to get a win against a crowd that uh, knows you, and uh, they're rooting for me. They're, they're, they're no foes. You know, he's, he's been hobbling around in a bad ankle, and, and he's been playing through it like a tough guy, like, like Coach wants him to. And he had a great game here tonight on his 17th birthday. Girls now, Archbold trying to go 16-0, playing at Wauseon. End of the first half, Chelsea Gable driving, addition to Cassidy Wise for the layup. Blue Streaks up 14 at the break. Second half we go. They turn on the pressure. Gable reading the pass, getting the steal and the bucket. Indians don't go down without a fight, though. Caitlin Norris, we don't know if she's related to Chuck, but she's solid. Down low for two. But Gable in the streaks, too much. She knocks it down from downtown. Archbold stays perfect, 59-31. Evergreen with only one league loss, hosting Swan early on. The Vikings, Brittany Hairs off the mark, but Taylor Babcock there to clean up the mess. More from the home team. Lauren Langendurfer, the head fake and the baseline drive for two. Vikings win it, 43 13.